Another brick fan with a Batman classic TV series set. This is the Batmobile. This is set 76188, was released in April 2020, has 345 pieces, two minifigures, and cost about $30 when it was released. This set is based on the 1960s Batman series and looks spot on to me. This is just a really nostalgic looking Batmobile that is iconic from that television series. And this is the Batmobile that traveled around to car shows all the time. So this is one of the, you know, classic Batmobiles that almost everybody who's a Batman fan can recognize. It of course comes from the 1960s show. I think 1966 is when it first started and it included lots of actors and actresses, big name actors and actresses that starred in the show. Uh, it was pretty campy, a lot of bad jokes and things like that, but it still is a really fun series, and it was anchored, of course, by Adam West as Batman. We'll take a closer look at the minifigures in a minute, but let's look closer at the Batmobile itself. As you can see, the Batmobile is on this display stand, and it has this very nice data plate that shows information about the Batmobile itself, which I think turned out quite nicely. The stand allows the Batmobile to be turned around so you can view it from lots of different angles. We'll of course take a look at the Batmobile closer here in just a second. But you can see that that stand is very nice for displaying the Batmobile at a, at a variety of angles. Taking a quick look from a kind of a higher angle, you can see the great sculpting of this vehicle. There's all kinds of these little slope pieces used in here. A few stickers, like the classic Batman logo here that was used to, it was a spinning logo that was used between scenes. And if you look, you'll see that also on the tires here. So that Batman logo is seen throughout this vehicle. I like the use of the giant phone inside here. There's this flashing red light on the top of the Batmobile. There's some instrumentation inside that you can see just quickly inside. There is some instrumentation on both sides there on the kind of in the center and then over here on the passenger side. I like the use of these small glass pieces and then some of the clear cheese wedges in the back to create the windshields. No opening doors, but it's easy for the characters to jump in from the side and be put inside the Batmobile here. You just have to make sure their arms are lifted up out of the way. And then they slip right into the Batmobile, just like that. Looking around the back, we have a couple of stickers back here. This is the exhaust here. There's just a couple of little tail lights back here as well. The, these sloped, these are on hinges right here, so that they stay kind of angled out in the back. Looking over on the side, you can see these Batman logos here on the wheels. Another Batman logo here in the middle. And there's another sticker back here with kind of a bat wing or a sculpted wing but right back here in the back. On the front, there are stud shooters. Two of these stud shooters on the front. So the Batmobile does have some weaponry built into it. And then moving to the very front, we can see a couple of headlights here, some yellows in there, maybe to indicate some turn signals. And then a little bit of red behind these black grill pieces, just to give it some really nice uh, coloring. So overall, a really nice looking Batmobile. And like I said, I think this is really spot on for the 1960s look of this Batmobile. Let's take a quick look at the minifigures now. Here are the two minifigures that come with this classic TV series Batmobile. First, we have Batman in this gray and blue uniform, which is what Adam West wore in the series. And this is the Joker as played by Cesar Romero. And he's in this sharp pink suit. Each has an accessory. So the Joker has this pistol with the grappling hook on it. And then, of course, Batman has a batarang. Taking a closer look, we have the cowl here with the 
eyebrows done in the light blue and then the blue and black there. He's got the soft cape in the dark blue and then gray here. Not quite as much ab definition as you normally see on a Batman figure. And then here's the Batman's utility belt and then the kind of blue tights and then the blue boots down here. The Joker has just a hint of a mustache over his big pink lips here. The green hair, of course. And then he's got the three-piece suit on with the cummerbund and the nice loose tie here. And then the pinstriping that goes all the way down on his legs, which I thought turned out quite nicely. No side printing on either character. And then the printing in the back here of Joker is... Pretty plain, but just keeps for that kind of sculpting of the uniform. Batman, of course, has an alternate expression here. Kind of a frowning face there. You see that the minifigure head is actually done in that dark blue with the white to give the white eyes for Batman. The cape folds out of the way. You can see the back printing there for Batman and the back of his belt. And then here is the Joker's alternate expression. More of a frowning face rather than the big smile and still that hint of a mustache and some lines on his face here. So both turned out quite well. So let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this set. Overall, I thought this was a good set. I think that the look and feel of it is definitely on point with the 1960s television show and this iconic Batmobile. I think the uh, price is really good. We have 345 pieces for $30, which puts us under the 10 cent per piece mark that I like to use. And the sculpting and the way it was all done with the color scheme, with the nice kind of the red line that goes all the way around the Batmobile, and the red highlights here on the fenders and in the front are very familiar for this style of Batmobile. I like the minifigures, both turned out very nicely and I think represent their characters well. Overall, I, I don't see a lot of downsides to this set. It really is a, a good classic Batmobile. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this DC comic set. I'm gonna get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to some of my other video review playlists up here on the screen.